Paris Hilton, a one-time chum, pal, associate, whatever you want to call her now, checked out with the Sussexes. As ever, let me explain. Morning, lovely to see you today. Thank you so much for taking the time out to join me. Paris Hilton, you know, I've been lucky enough to meet her. Whatever people think of her, she's clearly a very savvy businesswoman. I met her many years ago now, probably over 20 years ago. Frightening, isn't it, when you think about things like that? And she was sort of <laughs> trying a pop career, yes. There was a lot of them around at that time. Naomi Campbell, another good friend of mine, had a bash at a pop career and an album, you know. It was all about models and reality stars suddenly invading the charts. Many had a go. Some, of course, more successful than others. And then, of course, there were people like Kelly Osbourne. Remember her ill-fated pop career. Caprice over here, a supermodel. Another one who had a, a bit of a bash at being a pop star and it made me laugh you know because she wanted to be known more than just being a model and the video had her playing a model <laughs> you couldn't make this stuff up could you always makes me giggle this stuff you know but now Paris Hilton as we know has become a mum and that really dates you doesn't it because I just remember her being part of of course the wonderful reality show which was very clever in a sense played upon her dumbness and she's not dumb by any stretch of the imagination savvy businesswoman and for a short period so it appears a close chum chummy whatever of Meghan Markle now Paris has probably not fallen out with anybody but the bottom line is this that apparently according to the well-placed source at the videotaping or whatever of Megan's ill-fated Spotify podcast thing in which of course Paris was a guest bet you'd forgotten that hadn't you yeah you see people only remember the two don't they Mariah and Serena now you see apparently Paris was very keen to meet the royal children and you would be you know let's be honest lots of people would say oh where are they you know it's just a natural thing particularly if you're wanting to become a mum yourself which Paris was at the time apparently she never saw the children and as ever we have to say allegedly or indeed met them but one of the things she sort of pointed out was that you know people would be interested apparently a bit of a frozen over situation when she brought that up in front of Miss Markle and now it appears that Meghan apparently feels this is very strange because obviously Paris has now shared uh, images of her children on social media. Her reaction is simply this, that really you can hide children away but naturally at some point somebody's going to try and get a picture so you might as well control the narrative and have your own picture. I think she's right in this, don't you? And here's where it gets interesting because as I say, the bottom line was Paris could not understand why Meghan and Harry were so self-protective of their children. As she said, she'd seen lots of royal children through the ages and was delighted at seeing them. Even, of course, early pictures of Prince Harry and Prince William when they were growing up. She thought that was part and parcel of royal life. Seemingly though, as so many people find out when you have become an associate with Meghan, if you don't necessarily agree with the narrative that she has, then the bottom line is, of course, well, the tricky line is this, that clearly, you know, you're not going to be invited back for episode two of said podcast. Either way, Paris is flying high, happy, and now a mother. And Meghan Markle still remains hidden away with the children that are rarely seen. That is, of course, unless Netflix are paid. You see what I'm saying? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.